Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Neo 2. Today we're going to be moving on from Dawn to the next region in the next chapter of Twilight. No foul play was beneath Hideyoshi in the power struggle that ensued after Nobunaga's death. Those he considered enemies were dealt with in the cruelest, most unforgiving of ways. どのだったとは流行りすぎたようだ。徳川が家臣、服部半蔵にござる。ここはまだ敵地。我らは東吉郎の追手を足止めしておるのよ。気は稼げた。まずはこの場を離れようぞ。おお、我ら逃げたまと同じ気配がするの。新人より生まれ、人により沿う我ら逃げたま。そして怨念より生まれ、人を喰らう。新たま。この二つの均衡をなくしては、世にあるすべての姓は成り立たぬ。長き戦乱で怨念が募り、新たまばかりが勢いを増しておる。このままでは均衡は崩れてしまう。変化太平がために戦う徳川に力を貸すがよい。案ずるな。わしがついてやろう。気に入られたか。続きはかけながら話そう。我ら伊賀衆が手を配り家康様は無事に三河へ戻られたしかし徳川が陣立てを整えるのはまだ先になろう東吉郎に対抗した織田の急進たちはことごとく破れついに柴田勝家殿も劣勢に追い込まれておる
Uh, and then one more quick thing. The reason I wanted a Mortal Soul Core a few episodes back was because uh, I wanted to show this. So human enemies and humanoid bosses along with one-eyed imps will rarely drop these. And they can, one, let you level up unique boss souls, and they also let you change a soul's type to that of the Mortal Soul Cores. So... If you have a, a feral type or, or a brute type uh, boss soul and a feral type mortal soul core, you can fuse those together and then choose the outcome, whether it be brute or feral. Uh, and then they also added this little nice feature in the skills. It may have been there all along in the learn skills menu. They added a full skill list, which is easier to scroll through than the entire sphere grid. Uh, but also... You can now set milestones or set reminders for uh, what you want to work towards. Kidonosho Castle is a complex built on the land that Nobunaga gave to his retainer Shibata Katsui. The stunning features such as the intricate bridge it utilizes a combination of wood and stone and the beautifully garnished pillars stand as a testament to Katsui's forward-thinking nature in contrast to how many see him. In 1583, after suffering defeat at the hands of Tokichiro in the Battle of Shizugatake, Katsui retreats to Kitonosho Castle, pursued and surrounded by Takichiro's forces. Though it once served as the prosperous staging ground for the Oda assault on the Hokuriku area, the final moments of the castle and those stationed there draws ever closer. Ooh. What do we got skybox-wise? Not too much going on. Just a beautiful full moon peeking through some overcast clouds. You know, if LPing doesn't work out, I'll go into meteorology. <laughs> uh, first, we're going to blast you and make sure that we can't take any return shots. Because if you peek around this palisade, there's another skeleton waiting to get up and just jab you. I got a new toy for the hatchets. It's this. Oh, we ringed him out. Nice. Uh, it's this super fast counter attack as soon as you block something if you tap triangle. Time that right. Uh, you just do this immediate counter attack with both axes. That's a lot of stamina damage, too. Uh, we don't want to get shot by him. We're just going to try and make this bridge fight as clean and smooth as possible. Because uh, if it gets too chaotic, there is a good chance that I will backstep or dodge into hit in the bridge and die. So keep it simple. Oop. Bump, bump. And can we pull this off? Maybe with a boomerang. Nah, he was too close to recovering. But he is. Uh oh. Afflicted with lightning now. Maybe I want to be careful about this and not give him a chance. <laughs> not give myself a chance to make a mistake that gets badly punished. Oh, it's this level. Right. I really like this one because it's all anchored around this uh, this central hub. Like everything revolves around this area. Every one of the shortcuts open. Oh, somebody left a friend behind, and that reminds me that I did too. So we're going to turn around real quick and climb this ladder. Where we uh, snipe the skeleton. So this has been looted already, but whoever looted it left behind this friend, and we almost left him behind too. So now we're going to go rest to the shrine. Uh, catch our breaths. Our breaths? This is a consequence of always speaking in, like, we and us in Let's Plays. <laughs> uh, gotta catch our breath real quick, and... Oh, you know what? I forgot. Now that we have a Kodama, and I think that's the Amrita Kodama, too. Yeah, the Oracle Blessing. Hey, not bad. That's the one I always leave on by default anyway. So, 
This is gonna be... Oh, damn it! Cat? Normally, since you're presumably reading the subtitles, uh, since they're speaking Japanese anyway, and the majority of my, audi my audience is uh, predominantly English-speaking, I would normally just talk over them, but I'm still just in the habit of trying not to. Uh, so this is the first... Oh, I wasn't expecting him to start like that. This is the first spoke on our wheel for this level. Uh, and we can go through here, through the bottom floor of the interior of the castle. Oh, is that going to bounce off of... It's going to glance off of every post. Not really affording me the most health. Ah, this is fine. These are not the most dangerous enemies in the world. Also, look at that. Look how much they lose! You could just instantly go right into the fatal blow. For the final blow. <laughs> uh, so we can go through here. The ground floor starting... Uh, uh, the interior starting in the ground floor. We could have also taken the ladder up. And eventually, we'll, we'll join back around to that ladder and open up a couple of other shortcuts in the interior as well. Ah, oh, that wasn't pretty. We just want to make sure he's cleared out before we go ahead and... Oh, that consumes the buff, right? When you switch weapons, uh, when one is buffed, it does not apply to the other. And in fact, you can see that now the switch glaive isn't buffed either now that I've switched back. Would have been really nice to have that lightning going. Oh, the thunder shot. Or the thunder call, I think. Just afflicted it in one go to our fire on Yudo. I have all the water stuff uh, prepped, but I forgot to actually attune any of it. <laughs> Because this is another heavy fire-based level with another uh, fire-themed boss like Kasha. So that's that kind of barnyard area. Or the stables? Yeah, stables. Uh, we've now connected those two routes up so we can go up one ladder, down the other. Or I think we can also uh, just skip straight across uh, from the second floor as well. This is not going to end well! When you're in the middle of doing that, I've made some poor choices. When you're in the middle of doing that, you can't cancel into a burst counter. So, ooh, the choices continue. We're making decisions. <laughs> We're making some spicy choices today. I like it. Oh no, we have to. We have to get in front of that and dodge it. That gives us way too much health back. And it's way too easy not to go for it. Alright, let's get back into the Dark Realm. We actually managed to draw something out of there. I think it's the skeleton that's generating it, so... I'm surprised it didn't pursue me all that far. Uh, before we reconcile with him. Oh, uh, he's already re -aggroed. Farts. Because I think there's another archer that I was eyeing. Okay, you gotta go really quick. Oh, now this is no problem. Well, oh. It didn't clip me because I was on the other side of the pillar and he decided to take a cruise upstairs. One. Got him on the first go. Since these things don't have a lot of stamina in the first place, you can really ruin them with uh, just a few Ubumes. Like, one Ubume will have them sprawled out dead on the floor. And now for the bell. Uh, uh, let's open the chest first. Uh, and then... Oh, hey, it's Kingo's stuff. 
We're going to hit that with a strong attack. And then we're going to hit it again. Oh no, I thought that would be the one that drops it. There it goes. There are six of those in the level if you are going for the trophy. I don't recall if they affect anything during the boss fights. Normally, this kind of environmental side questy stuff, in Neo 2 at least, it'll have some kind of payoff when it comes to the boss, but I don't remember that being the case here. Like, Yatsuno Kami, if you uh, smash all of the snake idols, then you won't have to deal with the poison pools in a room. There are, there are like, two or three others I can think of that get a little bit easier if you do everything in the level, or do uh, all of a certain thing in a level. You meet some certain prerequisite. Oh no, phone, get out of here! <laughs> Okay, yeah, we've connected back around, and pretty soon, once we get down here, ah, well, we're not dropping on that, we'll just let him, oh no, okay, oh, he's not even dead, we almost burned, and he didn't die, <laughs> uh, don't love that he's alive with the wheel monk just chilling, uh-oh, whoop, 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 Getting a little clowny. But now we can actually sneak up on this. And with our Thunder Shot. And our Thunder Talisman. I don't think that quite reached. Oh, we still have him sizzling. Oh, wait. Maybe if I do this, it's going down. Nope, it needed one more tick. I was hoping I could get a final blow and just finish this real fast. Not getting it there, either. Not sure if I was just not at the angle, or if there was just a magic pixel. Alright, cool. Let's open that door up and see where it takes us. It takes us right back outside. The first of many times that's going to loop right back around to the central shrine. Oh, this level's cool. And now that we're back here, that is going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.